we evolve because it's what we can do. It's what we should do. Today, tomorrow, forever. How many of you, basic question here, have ever seen bullying happen? Okay, like all of us, pretty much. And then the second one, I'm actually, I'm gonna include myself in it and you can just raise your hand as well. How many of you have ever been bullied at any point in your life? Okay, I see a lot of hands going up. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but I see a lot of people are raising their hands. And the reason I ask that question is, well, a lot of times when I go on TV or when I go on the radio, oftentimes the first question I'm asked or one of the questions I'm asked is, why was I uh, bullied? And what's funny is, after, even after I was signed or after the song went viral, I still debated and internally wondered the answer to that question. And I never really knew it, but the aha moment for me, that kind of turning point where I realized the reason that I was bullied the way I was for all those years, verbally, cyberbullied, emotionally, um, physically, and just by being excluded, I have finally discovered all of the reasons for it at this one experience of mine at a concert of mine. It was a show actually at the Madison Square Garden Theater, and I'll never forget it because it was about two years ago now. And there were a lot of there were a lot of fans that came to um, like this meet and greet area to take pictures. And I remember my security guard was like, "Okay, we gotta keep it moving." But this one girl um, came up to me and shared the story of how she was called ugly, and it became my favorite example um, because I looked at her and she wasn't. She was absolutely stunning. She had blonde hair. She was tall. She w anyone in their right mind would look at her and be like, "Why would you call her ugly?" Um, but the crazy part is she really seemed bothered by it. So I couldn't, didn't, they were rushing everyone. I didn't have much time to talk, but I said, message me on Instagram because I actually, you know, go through those messages. So at 3 a.m., I'm like looking through the phone and I see the message from her and it turns out that she's a model with like several different agencies. She's been in magazines, she's been on billboards, and I'm looking at this whole situation thinking, why would she have been bullied? And that's when it hit me. That's when it hit me. The reason that she was bullied is the same reason that any of you who've been bullied, who raised your hands, were bullied as well. It's the same reason that I was bullied. And the reason is there is none. Bullying is not something that happens because we did anything wrong. But for some reason, it's where our head goes. If somebody says you're not smart enough or you're not good enough, we start to think automatically, well, what did I do wrong? And then you wonder, maybe if I was different, maybe if I fit in, maybe if there was something about me that was like the others, I wouldn't have been bullied. But the truth is, if you have red hair, they would have picked on your hair if it was a different color. It doesn't matter. It's the things that make you different are not the reason that bullying happens. The reason is because they have things that they need to work on. And it breaks my heart to know that there are people who have amazing gifts in the world, fans of mine, millions of people out there who wonder what's wrong with them when in fact, the things that make you different are the things that make you special. In, it's a very important thing to realize that the height the way you talk, the way you're different, the things that set you apart, these are all things that will make you successful later on in life. The next great idea is not gonna come from someone who's fitting in. It's not gonna come from the person who doesn't ever try to stand out. It's gonna come from the person that may have felt like an outcast, or it's gonna come from the person um, for the very reasons that may have made you different or may have made you bullied or weird in the first place. It's really important to know that the things that make you different are the things that make you unique. And being weird is not always a bad thing. There's a negative connotation for that word. But I've learned that all the things that I was bullied for ended up actually being things that were good. For example, my height in that situation was a good thing. But regardless of what it is, whether you're good at math, whether you're called too nerdy, no matter what it is that sets you apart and makes you a different person, if you're lucky enough to be different, don't ever change. Because those are the things that will make you unique. Now, as we all know, middle school is not the easiest time in the world to make friends. Um, in fact, I'm always asked about the time my nose was broken when I was bullied or the cyberbullying I experienced, and all these things are absolutely tragic when it happens to anyone. But what really was the hardest moment in my life was the, was the time that I was excluded in middle school, and the people that were once what I considered sisters ended up becoming the ones that were doing the bullying. That made me feel like I should do whatever I could to fit in with them. That it made me feel that the weirdness or the things that they said were wrong with me were the reason that I was getting cast aside. And I didn't learn what a true friend was until the first year of high school when my best friend, Ari, who's still my best friend to this day, um, not only was okay, she not only didn't bully me for the things that made me different, she didn't only accept them, but she embraced them. And she inspired the song, Just the Thing, 
which I don't know if, if you've heard it on the radio or even before it was on the radio or Teen Nick or anything like that, it was actually about that friend, not necessarily a boyfriend, but someone in your life that I don't know if they know you're a little weird, but they love you anyway for it. That's what it's about. And that's the song that really what I wanted to convey is to let you know that if you're lucky enough to be different, not a, to ever change. And if you know the song, you can sing along. <laughs> Hey, yeah, yeah. Whoa. I'm awkward, a little OCD, and I'm too tall, I know we say just the wrong thing, I talk too fast, forget to breathe, get tripped up in my energy, I'm out of touch and think too much offhand, I'm in the clouds and I'll probably never land. And I don't fit in with the in crowd, but I fit with you. And I don't fit in, but I like out, cause you're a little weird too. And that's just the thing I like about you. Yeah, just the thing I like about you. I once had a world of supposed friends, but everyone knows that fair weather always ends, and those who stayed to better days rarely come along our way. They make me smile, and I just gotta say, I don't fit in with the in crowd, but I fit with you. And I don't fit in, but I like out, cause you're a little weird too. And that's just the thing I like about you. Without you, I can hardly see the happiness around me. The company you made, I wouldn't trade it for a million bucks. It's true, you light a spark. Without you, I'm in the dark, and I'll never be able to find the light again. When you're strange, it's hard to find someone to stay till the end. And I don't fit in with the in crowd, but I fit with you. And I don't fit in, but I like out, cause you're a little weird too. And you always make me smile if I've been down for a while. And I'll show you every day that my love won't go away. And you lift me off the ground whenever you're around. You know you're strange, but I'm the same way too. And that's just the thing I like about you. Just the thing I like about you. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> thank you. So thank you. So <laughs> I have actually never really talked about um, bullying or anything like that. Even after my first song, Celebrity, went viral, I was modeling because of the height while being bullied for it, ironically, which goes to show you how you should never let any differences make you afraid or ashamed, which is why it breaks my heart to think that there are girls and guys out there who are young women and young men who are being told that the thing that makes them unique is awful and then they actually believe it. So it's so important for me to um, let everyone know the best way I can that don't ever change if you're lucky enough to be different, which is why after my first song, you know, when I was signed, I met my manager right through modeling, and um, he said, well, why don't you, you know, now that you have millions of, wa millions of people watching, why don't you put out a message? I had never talked about bullying. I had never opened up to my mom, to teachers, to anyone, because I thought that the kids who were bullying me were right. Like, I thought that everything they said was true. I was one of those people. And it's my biggest fear to know that there are other people out there thinking that, which is why, I decided I'm just gonna say my story. In the room of 15 different music executives who were strangers at the time, I started to share it, and my manager's like, you have to write a song about that. So I went from not telling anyone to telling millions. And the reason that this TED Talk is called You Are Not Alone is because I received hundreds of thousands of messages from people all over the world saying they felt alone as well. And it taught me how much my story had in common with them. It's, it's an illusion. Bullying is, is an illusion. To be told that you're not good enough in a fishbowl 
as a metaphor, with a bunch of other people, and you don't see outside of it, and you're being told one thing, it's very easy to think you're the only one, and you're this outcast, but the truth of the matter is, it happens to the best and brightest, and you are not alone. I never knew I would get, you know, you may feel alone, you may be alone at that time, but I never knew at that time that I would find a f best, my best friend, Ari, or that I would get these hundreds of thousands of messages, and that millions of other people were going through it. Um, so it's really, I'm actually speaking at the United Nations on February 4th on behalf of Margot Lazaro about this whole empowerment movement. And um, my manager inspired me to speak up on the story, which is what I encourage all of you to do if you ever see bullying happen, if it happens to a friend, if it happens to yourself. Um, and that's what the song Stronger is about. It really is about embracing the things you know, that make you different and also knowing that you may go through a hard time. You may go through anxiety. It might be depression. It might be... Um, something that, not even just bullying, but problems at home, especially in the age of high school or middle school. And you may think you're so far down the rabbit hole that there's no way out, but the solution is a lot easier than you think it is. And the cool thing about recovery and getting better and building your self-esteem from bullying or anything that may have shot you down is once you survive, and you will, because I've seen it, I've seen hundreds of thousands of people survive, I've also seen and I also know that when you survive, you will be stronger than you were but if it had never happened to begin with. So this song is called Stronger, and uh, if you know it, you can sing along, and it's about the fact that when we are together, nothing will break us down. Thank you. You're so strong on your own. You've weathered every storm. You made it this far with no one by your side. You say you don't need one, and I know you'll be fine. But let me be your hero, like you're mine. I will be your bridge over the water. And you will be the light to guide me home. With your strength, I know that I'll go farther than I ever could on my own. Nothing, nothing, nothing can break us down. Nothing, nothing, nothing can touch us now. There's nothing stronger than love. Nothing, nothing, nothing is stronger than us. I shine brighter. I'm a fighter, when I'm with you, I can do anything, and I'm a dreamer, you're a believer, and together, we can do anything, and I will be your bridge over the water. You will be the light to guide me home. With your strength, I know that I'll go farther than I ever could on my own. Nothing, nothing, nothing can break us down. Nothing, nothing, nothing can touch us now. There's nothing stronger than love. Nothing, nothing, nothing is stronger. Well, an earthquake could shake this land up. So strong that you couldn't stand up. Well, it's not enough to be stronger than us. And this whole world will never phase me, even when life gets crazy, no matter how rough. It's not stronger than us. Nothing is stronger, nothing is stronger than love. Nothing is stronger, nothing 
Nothing is stronger than us. It's stronger. Nothing is stronger than love. Nothing is stronger. Nothing is stronger than us. Nothing can break us down. Nothing, nothing, nothing can touch us now. There's nothing stronger than love. Nothing, nothing, nothing is stronger. Nothing, nothing, nothing can break us down. Nothing, nothing, nothing can touch us now. There's nothing stronger than love. Nothing, nothing, nothing is stronger than us. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> I know my, <laughs> my record label put together, thank you so much. My label put together like a video from concerts. I think two of them were schools, and actually that brings me to my last little surprise here, which is, um, which I actually think was supposed to be a surprise, but I'm not good at keeping surprises. Um, <laughs> my label had gifts and uh, things for the students and for everyone. We can take selfies in the foyer at the lunch break. Um, and I'm so excited to see the rest of the talkers, and I can't wait to meet you guys after. Thank you so much, and thank you Laguna Blanca and Ted.